So one of the cool things about the new GoPros is built-in GPS, which allows you to overlay things like speed, elevation, maps, time. Now, if you're into cycling like me, you're used to having heart rate, power, cadence, all that good stuff. And there's no way to do that with the GoPro alone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull the metrics from a Garmin GPS and overlay it onto GoPro footage. But before I do that, I gotta hit the trail. So let's go shred. That was probably my last ride of the year because snow is in the forecast and uh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I'm back in my office and we're gonna start working with these clips. So if you've ever done a long recording on a GoPro, you'll notice that they split or chapter the files. Before we bring this into the Garmin software, I'm gonna join all these clips as one so it's easier to work with. Here's all the MP4s. So we'll import these, take these clips, and then just drag them to a new sequence. Now it's really important to make sure that these clips actually lined up chronologically. So I'm just gonna go to each clip and make sure that it's a seamless transition. So now that I know these clips are in the right order, I'm gonna export these. And I usually use the 4K YouTube preset. So I shot this footage at 2.7K, but I'm actually gonna upscale it to 4K. So we'll put the output into a folder called export. We'll call it GoPro. Garmin 4K. Look at the settings one more time, everything looks good. All right, so we'll send it to Adobe Media Encoder and then it's gonna take a while because it's like an hour long clip. So we'll hit start and let this thing go. All right, so the file exported, I'm just gonna open it quick and scrub through it to make sure everything's good to go. And it looks like we're set. So now we're gonna open up Garmin Verb Edit and we're gonna go to Import Clips and Video, Import Other, and we'll find that export. And this is the clip right here. We'll go to import. I do import only. Optimizing is basically gonna make a low res proxy, which I don't really wanna deal with. So we'll just do optimize later. So that clip is gonna show up right here. We'll right click it and create, create video. Looks good to me. We'll do not now. So now that the video is in the timeline, I need to get the GPS file. So I'm in Garmin Connect here. This is my ride and I'm just gonna click export original and that's gonna download a fit file. We'll go to the G metrics tab and import the data and we'll click import G metrics. So we're gonna go to on my computer, hit browse, we're gonna find this file and this is the ride. So now we need to sync this with the actual GoPro video. So this step can be a little tricky because it might not be totally synced up. So that's why it's so important to hit record and start your GPS at the same time and that will at least get you really close. I'm gonna go into G metric sync and this is where we're gonna align everything if it's off a little bit. So on the left, it will be your GoPro video and on the right, it'll be your GPS file. So as we scrub through the video, we can compare it to what the GPS is doing over here. And one thing I'll do is I'll usually switch it to satellite and that will help us kind of look at the same landmarks as what we're seeing in the video. So if it's off a little bit, all you gotta do is click these arrows and it's just gonna move your ride basically back and forth to try to sync it with the ride here on the left. So what I'll do is I'll just hit done and everything should be synced. So now we'll head over to the templates tab and this is where we'll choose what metrics to use and customize the look of it. They have all kinds of presets for different types of activities from cycling to aviation, marine. We'll head over to the cycling one. You can kind of click through all of these. You can find which one you like. And I think the best part of this is you can actually move these around. You can change the size, the color, and then you can actually save it as a template and use it for next time. So I have one here that's saved from my last ride. It's kind of my go-to. And we've got cadence, power, heart rate, speed, elevation, distance. We've got the map on the bottom right. And then across the top, we have an elevation chart. So this is what I've been using the last few times. Basically got every stat that I want. And then once we're happy with the metrics, we can go up to export. I'm gonna do 4K, 24, and quality is max. The file size is gonna be pretty huge, but I've got the space for it, so it's no big deal. And then we'll click export, and we'll wait until it's done. All right, well, that took forever, but the export is done. We'll scrub through it quick and just make sure everything is good to go. See my uh, stats here. We've got the map above, cadence, power. Actually, we're gonna be going uphill. Let's just see if this went up. All right, not too bad, not too bad, 600. So from here, you could upload it directly to YouTube. What I like to do is I'll take the 4K overlay version I just made and the 4K blank version. I'll bring them back into Premiere Pro. I'll make a new sequence. 
and this is the blank version. And then I'll put the overlaid version on top. We'll get rid of one of the audio tracks and then we'll find a good starting point, basically right when I hit the trail, right about there is where I'll start the video. We'll trim this down, bring that to the front. So to start the video, I don't want the overlay on there. So we'll move that over and then we'll go to cross dissolve. And then basically as soon as I hit the trail, if I play it, and we'll go back a little more. So as soon as I hit the trail, my metrics will show up. So that's just kind of a cool way to start your video. And then even at the end, you could do like a reverse of that. So we'll just slide that over, put a cross dissolve on there. And as soon as I get off the trail, they fade away. So that's how I do it with a GoPro and a Garmin. It's obviously way more advanced than what GoPro has built in. And one thing I didn't mention earlier, the GPS signal on the GoPro is not that good. So if you have a dedicated GPS cycling computer, it's gonna be way more reliable than the GoPro GPS signal. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys are using for your GPS overlays. And while you're here, be sure to check out my other videos and we'll see you in the next one.